Hi, welcome to the Jaffa programming tutorial. Um, what we've been looking at is a like hash match, hash maps, array lists, maps, and arrays and different things like that. Um, iterators, we've looked at that. Um, what I've done was I've done a map. So what I've added to it is a map. We've done a hash map. So we've done a hash map, and you can see that I've declared it as hash map. This is a, the variable, remember, and we've declared it as hash map. And the difference in the map is we've not declared it. We've just called it M, the variable M, but we've just said map, we've not said hash map. And hash is, it's like, it makes it easier to search. Um, binary search method and so it's into it gets it put into a hash code and so if you don't want if it's not import, important how it's ordered then you can use a hash map um, but if, if it was important like a hierarchy then you would use like a tree um, you can imagine that you're going through a file system and when you store um, a file it can get put anywhere, you've got no control, no order whatsoever, you would never find it, it could go anywhere, right, and so you would have a tree for that, um, and it would show the, the root, from the root, it would show the, the folders and directories that, that this this file that you've saved is, is stored, and you'd be, always be able to find it, it'd always be in the same place, and so that would be like, you'd use a tree map for that, uh, you wouldn't use a hash because that's the difference if, if order's not important use a hash map and if order's important use a tree map and so what we've done here is we created a map and to show you the difference between the the hash map and a map it's very simple it's very similar and the difference is we've declared the the variable to access it is declared as a hash map the variable to access it here is not declared as a hash, hash map type, it's just a map type, and we called it M. And so we used a for root, we used enhanced for root for this one, but we didn't use enhanced for root for this one, we just used a normal root, just to show that it can be done. No, you can use a normal root for these things, but a hash, the enhanced one is an improvement for the for root. Um, you just put in what you want to what you want to access uh, the a hash map or the array list and it'll do it for you and that's that's the name of the set that we're accessing here so we didn't that's a set we created a set I'm in the wrong part yeah we didn't use a for it for that that's all we've done right um, right but anyway what I'm showing you is we use a normal we're using a normal for it for this one and what we've done is we created a string called Charles and M is the variable name to access it dot and just like the hash table it's put it's put it's not add it's put and so we put the index number and the name the index number is in the for loop so it's going to go 0 to 4 and each loop we're going to string is going to equal Charles we could have different names but I've just made it very simple and then we used to iterate again and put up a string and we called it shows and equals m the variable name to access it dot values dot iterator and while shows has next has another value do this so passes equals shows next so the, the value it's within the the map um, and then we print it out and what we've done here we'll take this away it's now on we run the program you'll see this there's four five different charles one two three four five and what we've done what we've done here is we've printed out m we'll get the whole set everything that's in it from the the, the 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 integer and the string so if I just go done you 
can see the five chalices plus you've got eight zero equals chalice if we change that into sign else we sign else one equals chalice and chalice and three to four right and so we've associated we've associated zero with chalice one with chalice so it's a map we've mapped each two together remember this string can be anything we want as we got to remember so, but we've just done it to keep simple make it simple so what we're going to do is a tree and once we do the tree we're going to go into we're going to go into input output we've already used system alt dot print l print ln and we're going to do system dot in and we're going to use buffers and read and write and things like that so that's the next pattern we may use these to to access the the input um, from the buffers so so the next the next one we're going to do is is a uh, the tree map which will be straightforward just like these and you'll see the, the similarities so again thank you for your time